Hi, this is Jeff from SimpleForexSystem.net, and what we're looking at today is a gold chart that is set up using the Rinko Gold 2021 trading package. Uh, there'll be links in the uh, YouTube video, there'll be links on the video itself. Um, you can go check that out, see if it's something you're interested in. Gold has gotten very active recently. Um, I'm guessing one of the reasons is, is that inflation has begun to creep back into the marketplace. Food prices are going up, uh, fuel prices have long since gone up and are still going up, housing prices have gone crazy once again, it's almost like living in 2004, 2005 once again. Anytime you have that kind of pressure, uh, price pressure in the commodities markets like that, with food, shelter, um, transportation, that sort of thing, gold just has a natural tendency to go up uh, in price. And while it hasn't gone back to its all-time highs of uh, over $2,000 an ounce, it has landed in a very tradable range between about $1,700 and $1,800. And on a daily basis, we're seeing more days than not uh, gold covering eh, $20, $25 worth of ground between the uh, uh, high and the low. That makes this very, very tradable. And what this package has done now is we've we found a we put together a, a trend we call it a trade line, but it's really it's a trend line that does an outstanding job of hanging in on the trends just as long as humanly possible. The biggest problem we have with most uh, trend indicators is that they're coded so that anytime there's even the slightest uh, shift in the opposite direction, the trend indicators begin giving opposite uh, signals. If those collapse and go the other way, uh, you just found yourself in a trade that went nowhere and probably ended up costing you money. This particular indicator does a very good job of avoiding that experience and letting you stay in uh, trades in one direction as long as possible. We combine that with the Rinko signal indicator, which is the small line that runs along price action on these Rinko charts. And what we what we do for our rules are very simple. Uh, when price is below the uh, magenta colored line, you're only looking for sell trades. And you take sell trades only when the Rinko signal indicator also turns magenta. So basically it's a two color system. When they're both magenta, you're selling. When the signal indicator turns green, you get out. When it turns back to magenta again, you sell once again. When it turns to uh, green, you get out. Now, when the uh, trade line indicator turns green, now you're only looking for buy trades and price has to be above that line in order for you to be able to take a trade. And you look for a, um, a signal that turns green. We had one here that unfortunately went nowhere, small loss. We had another one here that went a uh, little bit, but came back and essentially got out around break even. Then we had a nice uh, 10 box run. These are 70 cent Rinko boxes. So this is about a $7 run on gold. Back here over on the sell, uh, it was about a $6, 650 uh, run on gold. And over here was about a $350 run on gold. So it's, it's very, very simple to trade. You, you, you know when you're getting these signals, uh, you're basically getting the best of it in terms of, entry, of entries on these trades. And because of the sort of stubborn nature of the trade line, the uh, pink and green line that runs sort of um, uh, horizontally across the chart, somewhat horizontally anyway, uh, you know you're, you're basically safe sticking with just one direction trade. Now, occasionally you'll miss a nice trade. This was a very nice buy trade, went about $7 uh, on its own. Uh, actually, went about $10 on its own, um, but it was against the rules, so we didn't take that trade. You're gonna miss a few of those, and you're going to get the occasional losing trade. We had one right here. This would have been about a seven, um, seven pip loss, 70 cent loss, basically, uh, 10 cent pips. So. Uh, because you went up seven and came back 14, so you know you're down about seven. Here you went up 14, came back 14. You're basically at break even. So the losses are very very small, but the winners are uh, anywhere from small to you know fantastic. Uh, if you'll give me a second here, I'm going to um, leave this um, uh, this actual screenshot. We'll go to what trading looked like just a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, I was busy getting prepared for this video and didn't have time to take this. We got a sell signal uh, approximately about 1790, and within about four minutes, price came all the way down to 1773. That's a $17 move, 170 pip move in four minutes. 
and uh, that was just very, very easy to catch. In fact, you would have gotten two, two uh, smaller trade and the larger trade still would have netted around the same. And now, of course, prices move back up and it's a little bit slower, but even the buy trades are, there's, you know, probably 14, 15 pips right there. So this is a very, very, very solid way to trade gold. Um, gold can be kind of uh, crazy price action every once in a while, but if you just stick with the rules that we have in place, which is only sell when price is below the magenta line and only buy when price is above the green line and you have corresponding signals coming from the Rinko signal line, you're, uh, you're going to be in good shape. Uh, when you lose, you lose a little. When you win, you win a lot. and You, you can't ask for anything better than that. So anyway, I hope this helps explain the uh, trading method to you. If you have any questions, you can always uh, send me an email at jeff at simpleforexsystem.net, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.